Lesson 13.4c, we've been talking about composite figures. Let's try solving some real-world problems. Dividing a composite figure into smaller basic figures, such as a square, rectangle, triangle, or trapezoid, will help us find its area. We have a shape like this. We could split it into this rectangle and this rectangle. We could even extend the lines out, find the area of the entire thing, find the area of the small piece, and subtract it. We learned how to do that in the last video, which is linked in the description. And it would be very helpful, actually make your math easier, if you had the area formulas written somewhere in your notes that was easily accessible. The diagram shows the shape and dimensions of Bob's deck. Find the area of his deck. So we see that it's a composite figure. We can draw a line to divide it. We draw a line segment dividing the deck into two rectangles. And we find the area of each rectangle. We have a large rectangle and a small rectangle. We can use the dimensions 20 feet by 10 feet for the large one. It's 200 feet square. And for the small one, if that's 20 feet and that's 10 feet, well then that must be 10 feet. Because together, this line and this line should equal that line. So we know this is 10 feet down here. What's the measure here? Well, this line and this line should equal this line. And if that's 10 and that's 14, this must be 4. So we've got 10 by 4, that's 40 feet square. We total the area, 200 plus 40 is 240 feet square. So we solved the deck by dividing it into two rectangles, a big one and a small one. We also could have divided the deck into a rectangle and a square. We see that this is 10 and that's 10. That means this area right here would be 100. And that is 20, so that means this little portion right here would be 10. We'd have a 10 by 14, which is 140, and a 10 by 10, which is 100. We still get 240 feet squared. Bob wants to apply a water seal to his deck to protect the wood. One quart of water seal covers 50 square feet. So how many quarts will he need? Well, the deck area is 240 square feet. One quart of water seal covers 50 square feet. We can divide 240 by 50. We're going to get 4 and 8 tenths quarts of water seal. But Bob can't buy 8 tenths of a quart, so he'll need to round up to the next whole number and buy 5 quarts. Here it's telling us to find the area of the shaded portion. We can look at the green area and we can divide this shaded portion into a rectangle and a square. If we put a line segment coming across here, we have a rectangle and a square. Now we need to find the base and height of each. This is 12 centimeters and this is 7, which means that's 7, which means that's 19. Our rectangle is a 19 base and 8 height. For our square, we can see that this is 15 centimeters, and from here to here is 8 centimeters. They need to match 15 minus 8. That would make this 7, which means that's 7. We have a 7 centimeter by 7 centimeter square. That would be 49 square centimeters. The large rectangle is 152 square centimeters. We add them together to get a total area we get 201 square centimeters. We're finished with lesson 13.4, and we're moving on to module 14. We have three parts for 14.1a. The first part is reflecting in the coordinate plane. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.